Travel chaos continues tonight, not just here, but across the country. Thousands of flights have been canceled or delayed. And these huge crowds that you're looking at, these are from BWI and Reagan National a bit earlier. Flight Aware shows DCA has had more than 200 delays and nearly 100 cancellations today. BWI is at more than 100 delays and over 280 cancellations. And as for Dulles, around 170 flights have been delayed and over 30 canceled. 7 News, Jay Korf is live for us at DCA. So, Jay, many of these cancellations are Southwest Airlines flights, and it looks like many of those passengers are still stuck behind you. Indeed, that's absolutely true, Michelle. I'm going to step out of the way, and you can see these are folks who are you know, doing what they can to try to rebook. I mean, a lot of these folks who are in these lines and we've been talking to for hours, they've literally been here off and on for days. It's just an absolute disaster for these folks in terms of travel and from what Southwest is saying they're going to cancel or delay most of their flights over the next few days so they can get things back up and running and that leaves a lot of folks stranded and frustrated. This is chaos and it's upsetting. Holiday cheer is in short supply at Reagan National Airport due to a seemingly endless number of holiday horror stories. We've been here since 8 o'clock this morning. Bridget Seco and her daughter are among a sea of Southwest Airlines travelers wondering how in the world they're going to get home. So they told us while we were standing in line that there's absolutely no flights until Friday, which was the day we were supposed to come back. According to FlightAware, Southwest has canceled or delayed nearly 90% of its flights as of Monday night. We're not being told anything. The airline telling us in a prepared statement that extreme weather caused a wide scale disruption that will take the company days to recover from by rebalancing the airline and repositioning crews and our fleet. Southwest admitting these continuing challenges are unacceptable and issuing heartfelt apologies. I think they've got a logistics problem. Bob Bernstein and his family can't get to Houston until Saturday, so he's driving home to Texas. And it's pretty messed up because they don't even have people to email or text their customers telling them that the flights have been delayed. They couldn't get us to Hartford from Tampa, but they said you can, we can get you to Reagan. Instead of being in Connecticut with family, Kristen Laliberte spent Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and Monday stranded at the airport since she lives in Florida. She'd run a car and drive to see loved ones, but says no vehicles are available. There are no cars, there's no planes, and for the foreseeable future, neither one will be available. Passengers are, passengers are even telling us that when they're having conversations with Southwest Airlines employees, some of them are admitting to them privately that staffing, a shortage of staffing, is also playing a role in this problem. Traveling to the town of Adams was not an easy drive. Most of the roads were still covered in snow and ice, which forced most drivers to have to proceed with caution and way under the speed limit. But even with the bad driving conditions, neighbors came together to help one another out. It's fantastic. Anytime we need something, they're here for us. There's only three or four of us on this road, so we're all together on this. Heffer isn't the only one in Adams who's received a helping hand from his neighbors. And while someone shoveling or snow blowing your driveway may not seem like much, it can make all the difference. It just reminds you that, you know, community is everything and that people are always still there just wanting to help. And it's amazing to see. And it's it's so nice to know that other people care about each other in the neighborhood. Adrian's Christmas plans changed due to the weather during the holiday, and she said even though she was snowed in, she was glad that she got to spend time with the family that was there. 